It's time now for a look at the latest in local news and news. Several events planned for this weekend, including the Wayne County Board of Tourism's annual Grand Slam Fishing Tournament. Still time to sign up today with the Tourism Board. Then again, the event planned for Saturday and Sunday. It gets underway Saturday at 12 noon, continues until Sunday at 12 noon. This year's event again features Grand Slam, which will consist of the heaviest weigh-in in one of each of three out of five species, catfish, mudfish, gar, bass, and panfish. Tournament prizes will be determined by the number of entries. Weigh-in and tournament headquarters will be at the J.C. Fairgrounds at J.C. Landing. Those fishing in the event can put in anywhere on the Altamar River and fish anywhere they have legal permission to do so, but they must be in line at the weigh-in at the fairgrounds this Sunday at 12 noon. Also, fishermen are allowed two bush hooks per fisherman with the hooks clearly tagged and removed prior to weigh-in. No jugging is allowed in the event. Entry fee for the event is $50 per fisherman, minimum of at least two paid entries to a boat. Registration forms can be picked up at the Tourism Board Office at the depot or registrations available online at active.com. Packets are also available at J.C. Landing, Rainier, and Wayne Feed and Seed. Under 16 can fish for free, one youth for one registered adult. Please indicate the age of the youth on the registration form. If you need more information today, check out the event website at www.waynetourism.com or call the Tourism Board Office at 912-427-3233. There is a link to the active registration site on the Tourism's webpage and the Wayne County Board of Tourism's Grand Slam Fishing Tournament on the Mighty Altamar River coming up this weekend, September 17th and 18th, and you can still sign up today. Also, Saturday afternoon, Hospice Society Georgia having their seniors prom, which will be held at Under the Chandelier. They'll crown a king and queen. Dinner will be served. That's from 4 to 7 this Saturday at Under the Chandelier. Colin McGregor, a guest this week on the Butch and Bob Show from Hospice, running down all the details. And this Sunday, First United Methodist Church is celebrating its 150th anniversary with their service at 11 a.m., Reverend Rebecca Duke Barton, our guest yesterday on the show, Reverend Stephen Elder Patton will deliver the sermon for this special occasion. Lunch will be served after the service, but everyone's invited at the church celebration, again, 150 years celebration anniversary this Sunday at 11 a.m. Today on the Mitch and Bob Show, we'll be talking with Congressman Buddy Carter. The Congressman wants to discuss inflation, also Republicans push to undo President Biden's administration of abortion rights guidance to pharmacists nationwide after the Supreme Court's Rose Reversal, and that and more today with Congressman Buddy Carter on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, we're a month away from early voting in the upcoming general election, which will be held on November 8th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at your precinct polling place. Deadline to register to vote for this upcoming election is Tuesday, October the 11th. If you've changed your name or your address since you last voted, they ask you to please update your file by coming into the registrar's office and filling out a change of address form. You can also go online with your Georgia driver's license at www.mvp.sos.ga.gov to register to vote, update your name or address, view your precinct or polling place, and view a sample ballot of the candidates who are running for office in your voting district. Last day to request an absentee ballot will be Friday, October 28th. Early voting begins on Monday, October 17th. Runs through Friday, November the 4th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, three weeks of early voting, all taking place at the Hall Richard Recreation Center on 644 North 4th Street, Jessup. Mandatory Saturday voting will be held on Saturday, October 22nd and Saturday, October 29th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Hall Richardson. Election day is Tuesday, November the 8th. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the Registrar's Office at 912-427-5950. Tonight at J.C. Stadium, during the pregame ceremony, Wayne County's Teacher of the Year is going to be announced. All candidates from the local schools in the running will be on the field during the pregame ceremony. Tonight at J.C. Stadium in the running. James E. Bacon, Elementary School, Teacher of the Year, Kirsty Yoder, Joseph Elementary School, Melissa Perkins, Martha Ross Smith Elementary School, Haley Fry, Odom Elementary School, Andrea Willis, Scriven Elementary School, Krisha Ard, Arthur Wayne's Middle School, Jennifer Townsend, Martha Puck Middle School, Jessica Abad, and Wayne County High School, Valerie Roach. Again, all takes place tonight at J.C. Stadium during the pregame ceremony. Also, before the announcement, the Chamber of Commerce is inviting teachers, current and retirees, to stop by their tent as they have a treat for all the teachers to appreciate them. Again, all that takes place tonight at J.C. Stadium. Speaking of the Chamber, they've got their 2022 annual meeting set for Thursday, September 29th at the Polytech Center. Again, they invite everyone to attend the 2022 annual meeting. meeting is a chance to connect with fellow Chamber members and learn more about the Chamber. Again, that event taking place 5.30 p.m. Thursday, September 29th at the Polytech Center. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. 
Final eighteen news, the 47th annual Odom Homecoming is just a few weeks away. Again, the date is Saturday, October the 1st in Odom. That night, they're going to have the Second Chance Band perform from 7 9 p.m. at the Odom Train Depot. Today's events get underway with the parade at 10 a.m., platform ceremonies at 11, cakewalk at 12, Quirkish World Class Karate will perform at 12.45, call to the dance floor at 1.30, Golden Isle Belly Dance at 2, Excel Martial Arts at 2.30, Southern Academy of Dance and Cheer at 3, you can dunk at Odom City Official at 3.30, throughout the Community Worship Service at 6.30 p.m. that evening, and t-shirts are on sale at Odom City Hall, they're $15 all sizes, kids and adults, and they got a scare coat. Scarecrow Contest, free to enter. Kids Pumpkin Decorating Contest, free to enter. Kids Zone, all day, unlimited. With wristbands, $5 for ages 3 to 5, $10 for ages 6 and up. Again, all taking place on Saturday, October 1st. Again, need more information, call Odom City Hall at 586-2211. Again, they're celebrating their 47th annual event this Saturday, October the 1st. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce and Jessica Quinn's Club, Getting ready for their Scarecrows Among Us contest. It'll take place in downtown Jessup. Entry fee, $40. Entry forms are still available. Deadline to enter the contest is Friday, September the 30th. And finally, in the news, one of Wayne County's well-known citizens celebrates her 90th birthday today. And Ms. Sybil Lynn turns 90 today. Her family and friends are hosting a reception in her honor this Sunday at the Altima Steak and Seafood Restaurant from 1130 to 1. They say it's a drop-in event, no guests, but if you'd like to stop by and wish Sybil Lynn a happy 90th birthday, you're invited to do so. A little poem for Miss Sybil. Again, Sybil and we honor her 90th. We gather today to honor this great lady who's celebrating 90 years old. What a wonderful life. And over the 90 many years, stories have been told. Successful businesswoman built a name to one of the most famous restaurants in the state. Everyone will tell you that Miss Sybil's fried chicken is the best. And to that, there was no debate. People from all around the state would make annual trips just to stop and eat at her place. And they would come from far and wide. And when they arrived, they would see a smiling face. Many famous people have eaten at her establishment, a lot of politicians as well. They would come for conversation, a donation, her opinion, she would tell. Yes, if you wanted to get the update on politics, Sybil's Restaurant was the place to be. In fact, most people out here came to Sybil for political conversation, but not me. I told everyone for years that I didn't care about the politics. I was there simply to eat. I mean, believe me when I tell you this, when it came to food, Sybil's could not be beat. It was a buffet, lunch, or dinner, and please let's not forget about those delicious pies and cakes. Back over the years when the restaurant was open, at least three to four days a week I would make. And over the years, a true friendship did grow and still strong to this day. She's played a key role in my life, a true friend, a great lady, I'm here to say. So happy 90th, Sybil. Happy 90th birthday, Sybil. Wayne County says thanks, and here's to many more. I know you've heard this at least a thousand times, but it was a sad day when your restaurant closed its doors. And happy birthday to Sybil Lynn, again turning 90 today. That's going to do it for Legacy and Local News. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. We're here from Coach Shaw. Get the keys to victory tonight between Wayne County and Statesboro. That comes up in a few minutes. Again, Bob Morgan saying have a great day.